Kuis John, good morning! Punong-puno ng inspirasyon ang umagang ito. I'm really looking forward to knowing more of our new initiative under the program of Bayanihan Eskwela. Pero bago yan, Kuis John, magbalik tanaw muna tayo. Through the Office of the Vice President, nabuo ang programang Bayanihan Eskwela bilang munting alay na tulong sa edukasyon sa ating mga kababayan ngayong pandemya. Kabilang dito ang tatlong initiatives Una dyan ang donation drive para sa gadgets and equipment. Pangalawa ang instructional videos na nagtatalakay ng iba't ibang unique na mga topics para mas makatulong sa transition ng ating mga guro, mga magulang at syempre ang ating mga mag-aaral. At pangatlo ay ang ating community learning hub. Gayun naman, magdadagdag pa tayo ng isa. Ang bagong-bago at ang pang-apat na initiative under our Bayanihan Eskwela Program, ang introductory course to online teaching. Excited na nga ako for today's launching. Siyempre, ang matutulungan natin dito ay hindi naman ang ating mga parents as students, kung, hindi, kung mostly especially ang ating mga guro. Kaya we have with us today our partner in this program, ACAD Asia, represented by co-founder and CEO, Mr. Nelish Bacha co-founder and interim CEO, Mr. Roy Platon. Kindly turn on your camera, sirs. Say hello to the audience, sir. Hi, sir. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga, Sir Roy, Mr. Nilesh. Ang Akad Asia is a mission-driven edtech business that aims to democratize education by empowering educators everywhere with the skills and the technology needed to teach 21st century learners. Ginagawa nila ito, Kuis John, in three ways. By providing help to educators develop teaching skills relevant for the 21st century, by providing educators with tools needed to create engaging content, and lastly, by providing a platform that allows all learners free access to digital education. At ngayon, partner, pinoprovide nila ang kanilang platform na ang tawag ay Freeju sa ating mga guro para makapag-enroll sila ng libre. Libre ito, partner, sa online course na tinatawag na Introduction to Online Teaching. Yes, Kuis, excited na akong ma-explore ang Freeju. This initiative would not be possible without our partner, Akad Asia. Mamaya lang din, Kuis, dyan, makakasama din natin si VP Lenny Robredo at ating, ating Chief of Staff Undersecretary Philip Boyati at mamaya magkakaroon ng off-air signing of the Memorandum of Agreement ang OVP at Akad Asia to formalize our partnership. Kasama din natin sa panonood ang ating mga teachers. Tinatawag natin silang mga kabayanihan o mga kasama natin sa bayanihan from all over the Philippines. Nanonood sila ko is through FB Live. The dedication of our fellow Filipinos is really overwhelming. I-recognize na natin ang ating mga kabayanihans from our three pilot areas. Simulan na natin, partner. Tawagin natin ang mga superintendents at representatives na kasama natin ngayon. Andito ang Schools Division Office of Aklan, Senior Program Specialist, Ms. Leila Pamatian. From SDO Himamailan City, Superintendent Dr. Reynaldo Gico. Di rin magpapahuli ang Schools Division Office of Lucena City, represented by Chief Education Supervisor, Ms. Josephine Natividad. Partner Kurt, ramdam na ramdam ko na ang energy ng ating mga guro kahit pa tayo ay magkakalayo. Ramdam na ramdam din natin ang pagbabago sa ating education system. Ang dami-daming challenges natin ngayon na kinakaharap sa ating mga kabayanihan at sa ating mga kababayan. Kaya napaka-importante talaga na andito tayo ngayon at nakikilahok ang ating mga guro para sa improvement ng skills for online teaching. Kailangan talaga natin na maka-adapt sa sitwasyon ngayon. 
Yes, Kuis, para wala tayong maiwan, hindi lang lo online learning ang focus ng ating mga guro. Meron din tayong tinatawag na blended learning. Ito ay ang pinagsama-samang modular, online, TV at radio-based instructions. Kaya naman, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, Kuis, hindi lamang ito ang programa ng Bayanihan Eskwela. Meron tayong community learning hubs. Malaking tulong ito sa mga nangangailangan ng educational support. Andito tayo ngayon dahil tayo bilang mga Pilipino ay likas na mapagmalasakit. Kaya excited na talaga ako dito sa ating launching para madagdagan ang tulong para naman sa ating mga guro. At formally buksan ang ating programa, pakinggan natin ang mensahe ng utak at puso ng lahat ng inisyatibong ito. Nandito, na, nandito ngayon sa atin, live na live, VP Lenny Robredo. Magandang umaga. Good magandang morning. magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, uh, sa ating po mga kasama dito sa Zoom virtual launching sa ating mga kasama sa Facebook Live. Uh, magandang umaga. Uh, good morning to everyone. Thank you to the organizers and to all our partners, especially Akad Asia for making this training program possible. Thank you also for helping us design this program and for your passion for education making sure that teachers are supported in this transition from face-to-face -to -face classes to blended learning. Pinapatunayan po natin na marami, ta na, na marami tayong nagkakaisa para masigurong tuloy-tuloy ang nakukuhang edukasyon ng mga kabataan natin. This is also not the first time that we're working on a project with Akad Asia. Last September, we worked with you, uh, with Thames International and EduRescue, to help teachers adapt to the new ways of connecting with students and facilitating learning through the Help Educators Rise to Online Education by School Year 2020-2021. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na Heroes 2021 Online Teacher Training Program. We offer this program to public and private school teachers in Pasig as well as to our Bicolano instructors in DepEd Region 5. For two months, about a total of 4,000, about more, a little more than 4,000 teachers benefited from this program. And as we culminated Heroes 2021, both in Pasig and in Bicol, I am very grateful that Akad Asia continued to explore ways of working together with our office to ensure learning continuity despite the pandemic. Ito nga yung pandemic, sinundan pa na magkakasunod ng mga bagyo. Today's launching of this exciting new initiative embodies the very philosophy of Bayanihan, something that anchors many of our initiatives at the office of the vice president. Teacher training is just part of our menu of Bayanihan Escuela initiatives. Ito pong Bayanihan Escuela, ito yung programa ng aming, aming opisina bilang sagot, bilang sagot namin sa lahat ng hina, hinaharap natin na distance learning challenges na mga guro at mag-aaral natin ngayon. Uh, nagsimula po kami sa isang gadget donation drive prompted by the announcement early this year that face-to-face -face instruction will be suspended. Our office was immediately flooded by requests for gadgets from students, parents, teachers, and schools who did not have access to technology. So we, we decided to work with Kaya Natin, um, one of our reliable partners, to source donated gadgets that can help address these needs. But we, were, we, we very quickly realized na hindi lang pala yun yung problema. Uh, because gadgets will only take you so far. If we want education to continue, even during the pandemic, we have to make sure there is adequate support from the front lines. So nakipagtulungan po kami with the UP College of Education and volunteer creatives. We produced instructional videos with useful tips and techniques to help lighten the load. Pwede nyo po itong ma-access on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, pumasok lang po kayo sa Bayanihan Eskwela. And <clears throat> we have 24 videos, instructional videos for, for teachers and for... For teachers and for parents. And finally, we have our community learning hubs. Na sa mga lugar nyo po meron. 
this was our answer to the reality that not all homes are conducive for learning or that not all parents have the time, resource, <clears throat> or capacity to teach their kids. Through, through our community learning hubs, learners from such environments will still have a place to go to access the internet and get tutorial support for their lessons and assignments. Ngayon po, yung ating, um, yung, yung, yung ating mga, mga lugar for, for community learning hubs, para nagko-converge tayo for today's launching. Yung pilot batch po natin for today's launch are teachers from uh, Aklan, Aklan where we have uh, community learning hubs, Himamaylan City in Negros Occidental, and Lucena City in Luzon. Um, they will be given access to modules and other reference materials that they can go through on their own time. So walang pressure po kung kailan... Kung kailan kayo libre sa kanya pwedeng uh, i-access itong mga modules and learning materials, Akad Asia will be offering sessions as well to support and guide the teachers along the way. And Akad Asia has also committed to include instructional videos in their online platform, FreeJu. Ayun, FreeJu free po yung pangalan ng platform ng Akad Asia. You can access the instructional videos there so that more parents and teachers can benefit from it. After today's launching, we will be offering this training program to all teachers nationwide. So kung meron po ditong hindi kasali dun sa tatlong lugar na sinabi natin, uh, you can still join and um, join the program by sending an email to, siguro ipopost natin mamaya, uh, abteacherstraining at gmail.com to apply. All of this is very exciting and I hope that our teachers will make good use of this resource to enrich themselves and upskill so that they can be better educators today than yesterday. So sa atin pong participants, uh, yung pakiusap natin, keep an open mind, take everything in, and when this, when this is over, share what you learned with others. This pandemic may have turned our worlds upside down. And the challenges can be overwhelming, lalo po siguro sa mga teachers na parang nadoble yung trabaho natin ngayon. But we cannot allow ourselves to be paralyzed by it. We have to focus on the tasks in front of us, on sure steps, bridging the gaps, doing what needs to be done here and now. Para mga po sa akin, totoong mahirap ito for you ngayon, pero baka opportunity din. Baka opportunity din na parang napabilis napabilis yung paghabol natin sa, sa digital, digital mode of teaching na siguro ultimately mas magiging madali siya. Mahirap siya ngayon, nag-uumpisa tayo, pero magiging madali siya later, lalo na pag na-absorb na, na natin yung lahat na lessons. And for us, um, this means working with different groups and sectors to make sure that no student, no Filipino is left behind. So to move forward, we need all hands on deck. Parati po namin itong sinasabi na hindi namin to kaya, hindi nyo din kaya on your own, hindi din kaya ng Akad Asia, uh, hindi din siguro kaya ng mga parents na nagnanais na hindi maiwan yung kanilang mga anak. Pero pag tayo po nagtulong-tulong, uh, siguradong mangyayari yung gusto natin mangyari. And we need more of us to do the work, collaborating and innovating more, listening and empowering each other so that we widen the path for others to follow. Pero today, I am inspired by everyone's commitment to our shared advocacy. Ngayon pa man po, nagpapasalamat na kami kasi just doing this, uh, just, just being part of the program is, is proof enough na decidido talaga kayo um, to be able to be better, better teachers to our students. Doon nakikita yung passion, doon nakikita yung commitment. And this is what drives our pagbabayanihan, the spirit of collaboration. Because after all, as the pandemic has reminded us, we are all interconnected. And so whether it's facing the pandemic, reviving our economy, or reimagining the future, it is always clear that the only way through this, all of this, is by working together. So once again, uh, thank you to Akad Asia for partnering with us in this new initiative. May we keep finding more ways to expand our partnership, more ways to give more people opportunities to thrive as we build a better normal. And ako po, um, sa panghuli, 
Um, sana pag natapos na itong lahat, I would be able to personally visit all our community learning hubs all over the Philippines to be able to thank all of you. Unang-una for, for being open to this partnership. Pangalawa, for, for really doing um, for all means to, to make sure that no one, not one of our students will be left behind. I had the opportunity to visit our community learning hub in Pasig and in Taytay. Sobrang inspiring po. Sobrang inspiring, lalo na pag nakausap mo yung magulang. Uh, pag nakausap mo po yung magulang, uh, very grateful sila that we have this. Uh, ako, ako naman excited ako not just with the community learning hub but with the partnership with with the teachers with DepEd kasi I am sure na pagtuloy-tuloy po itong partnership na to mas magiging mahusay mas magiging maayos yung ating mga estudyante so to our teachers here uh, to our DepEd officials maraming maraming salamat po for for being open to this to Akad Asia, we can never thank you enough. So maraming maraming salamat. Good morning again to everyone. And to learn more about Akad Asia and their online course, Introduction to Online Teaching, Kabayanihans, let us all welcome Mr. Nelish Bacha. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for the kind introduction. Um, I'd just like to share my screen. Um, Uh, can you confirm if you can see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Good morning uh, once again, um, and thank you for this opportunity. In fact, uh, I would like to begin today, uh, first of all, by thanking uh, Honorable Vice President uh, Lenny Robredo, um, Yusek uh, Boyet, and uh, the entire staff and the team over at the office of the uh, Vice President. Uh, for entrusting my team and me uh, here in Singapore and in Philippines uh, with the very, very important task of upskilling teachers in the Philippines. Uh, we are very humbled and excited at the same time for this opportunity and we are looking forward uh, to work with all of you uh, from here on. Um, the impact of COVID-19 has been quite drastic uh, across the world. Uh, almost a billion of our learners have been affected by this. And in Philippines alone, I think it's almost about 6 million learners who've been affected by school closures, uh, pretty much. Uh, but surprisingly, in Singapore, um, the impact has been fairly minimal. Uh, the schools have continued online, uh, and they remained open only for those children whose parents uh, did not have anybody to look after them at home. Uh, and if you look at the two comparisons as to why Singapore, there was a very minimal impact of uh, uh, COVID, I would like to take us back in time to 2003 when uh, there was, we were all undergoing um, this other pandemic called SARS. Um, Singapore was very, very badly hit at that point uh, for SARS. And uh, Im immediately after that, there was uh, a task force set up and it was decided that all education institutions will look at home-based learning once a week, every semester. And this is what the teachers have been doing for the longest time. So every semester, one week at a time, every, all lessons would be conducted online. And along the years, um, you know, there have been a lot of learnings that the teachers here in Singapore have had. Uh, so my background, uh, I was involved with Singapore Polytechnic for the longest time, and uh, I used to basically do home-based learning once a week for my students every semester as well. And along the way, we learned what works, what doesn't work, and uh, you know, all of those learnings combined have made sure that now when COVID has come about, um, we have not really faced too much of a difficulty in terms of education and teaching and learning. Of course, there's a lot of technology available out there. And, and generally speaking, um, a lot of people believe that uh, as long as you have a learning platform or a technology tool available out there, uh, then you know online education is done. Uh, but actually, that is not really the case. What we learned over the last so many years is technology is nothing but a tool. In fact, what is most important is the the skill of the team when it comes to engaging with the student using any digital platform. It is very, very 
uh, difficult to engage with a young student in a classroom. And now you are trying to engage with the student um, in, a, in an online environment, it becomes even more difficult. Um, and if you especially consider the current generation, or as we call it, the Gen Z, um, Gen Z are all digital natives. They are born with a digital device, as we say. They're all used to multitasking, and they find it very, very difficult to stay focused for a long time. And I'm sure all the teachers out there will probably agree with me when I say that with, when it comes to Gen Z, uh, it becomes very difficult for them to stay engaged and stay focused even in a classroom. Now imagine you running your lessons online where the student is in the comfort of their own home uh, with, with their family around, a lot of distractions around. How are you then expected to focus in that classroom. It becomes very, very difficult. And it's a skill, a very, very important skill that the teachers need to learn. And traditionally, it, the, the role of the teacher has always been the sage on the stage. I mean, the time when I was in school, until the time today, I think a, a lot of the teachers still teach in the same way, where you, know, you go in front of the class, I, uh, of course, in my, my time, the teachers used to have a blackboard and a chalk, uh, but these days maybe they have a PowerPoint. But roughly speaking, it is still very, very same. The teacher speaks, the student listens, and that's it. And that's how learning takes place in a majority of the classrooms. Again, I'm not saying all, but a majority of the classrooms. Um, but if you look at the Gen Z who are digital natives, why are we still teaching them the same way? Um, you know, in, uh, I think, the time actually has come for us to really look at a new role for teachers in this new norm, where teachers are not the sage on the stage, but more like a guide on the side. And the teachers also need to basically learn how to be great instructional designers. Uh, an instructional designer is somebody who can create engaging lessons for their students for any platform, whether it's online, offline, or a mixed or blended uh, platform, uh, they should be able to design very, very creative and engaging lessons for their learners. But when it comes to uh, digital natives, I think uh, the other skill that teachers also need to have is they need to be the, the first responders when it comes to tech support. If the, if the student has a problem getting access to your lessons online, uh, who are they going to reach out to? The first person they're going to reach out to is you. And as a teacher, I think it's important that the teachers at least have some fundamental knowledge on how to support their learners when it comes to digital technologies. Um, and if you look at the future of work, um, the future of work asks the, the young students these days to have a creative mindset, to be lifelong learners. But where does all of this begin? This all begins with the teachers. And uh, in order for the teachers to actually be successful today, they need to have a few characteristics of their own. First of all, they need to basically have a growth mindset um, and they need to be lifelong learners, meaning learning never stops. Even for teachers, you constantly look at new ways of innovating and um, you know, being creative in the way you teach and deliver lessons. Uh, and you learn new pedagogic, uh, pedagogical skill sets, new technical skill sets, um, and keep on upgrading yourself. Um, and also, uh, in terms of the digital tools, the teachers need to have mastery over it. So these are some of the things that teachers need these days to really, really be successful in the new blended way of uh, teaching. And this is exactly where we come in at ACAD Asia. So we are a Singapore-based mission-driven business that aims to democratize education by helping teachers. And we help teachers in three specific ways. First, we help teachers develop new skills for the 21st century. This is extremely important because without understanding the new skills, it does not matter what technology you are using, it is bound to fail. To give you a very good uh, analogy, uh, you know, all cars can bring you from point A to point B. But if you don't know how to drive, then no matter what, you know, expensive or the fastest car that you have, you will still end up with a crash. 
So it's the same analogy over here as well. If you don't have the right teaching skills, it really doesn't matter what learning platform you're using at the end of the day. Uh, it is not going to work. Uh, the second thing that we do is we provide to teachers with the tools needed to create the engaging content because we realize that creating content is not easy. Uh, it is very difficult. It's very different when you create your lessons for a classroom uh, versus when you create your lessons for online platform. There are two different ways of creating and approaching uh, these two uh, spaces. Um, so what we have done is we've created a technology platform which allows teachers to create that content very, very easily. Um, so that's the second thing. And the third thing is we provide a platform that allows all the students free access to any lesson that you as a teacher would have created. Uh, so the students never have to pay, the students always get access for free. And we do all of this through our platform called Freeju, which comes in two different variants. One is Freeju and the other one is Freeju Studio. Uh, Freeju is a platform where all of you will have to log in for the first time and go and learn for yourself. And Freeju Studio is where you can go in and you can actually create your own content as well if you need. The program that we are partnering um, uh, with the uh, Office of the Vice President uh, and offering to all of you um, is called Introduction to Online Teaching. It comes in three uh, parts. Uh, the first one is pedagogy, where we will talk about the history of online and distance education. We will also touch upon hybrid and blended learning methodologies. The second part looks at technology and it kind of uh, helps you understand uh, what a learning management system is as opposed to say a communication system. And finally, it provides recommendations on netiquette and it also advises on what you as a teacher need to unlearn and relearn and also suggests some do's and don'ts for your online learning. This is basically followed with an online quiz. Uh, and if you complete all the requirements, you can actually get a certificate of completion issued by us here in Singapore. Uh, and, I, and I believe uh, it should be worth at least about two CPD units, if not more. The learning objectives of this particular training program are uh, that first, uh, you will investigate different online learning models, uh, including the hybrid and the blended learning model. You will then consider the different components of an online course and manage these with technology. You will also get an opportunity to explore different tools. So in fact, we talk about the various communication tools. We give you examples on how you can use Google Classroom or Freeju or many of the other platforms. And also finally, uh, you can explore the next steps in becoming 21st uh, century teacher. Uh, because of course, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the learning never stops. In fact, this is just the first step. This is just the beginning. And, and for all teachers, the mindset should be of lifelong learners. So keeping that in mind, we have several other CPD programs as well. If, if the teachers are so inclined, they can sign up for it later. Uh, and these are uh, you know, creating your first online course, designing engaging learning experiences, et cetera. Uh, so these are all optional and these are up to the teachers if they want to continue uh, their journey of lifelong learning, then we have a, a solution for them where they can learn at any time, at any place, in the comfort of their home, no pressure. Um, as mentioned earlier, we're in about 36 countries. We've trained about 2,500 teachers uh, so far. And we also have several large um, uh, colleges and schools as our customers, including Singapore Polytechnic. Uh, in Philippines, uh, we work very closely with uh, Thames International, Lyceum of the Philippines, Jubilee Christian Academy, Bicol uh, University College of Medicine, and of course, uh, Brain Links Academy. So with that, uh, I basically invite all of you uh, teachers to join us and register for the course. It's free and you will actually uh, get a lot of learnings out of it, which you can apply immediately to your respective classes and uh, help uh, impact positively uh, your learners. Uh, so thank you once again, um, uh, Honorable Vice President and the uh, Office of uh, the Vice President. Thank you very much for your um, trust in ACAT Asia. We really, really appreciate it. And we are looking forward to this. Thank you. 
yung support ng ating office sa ating programa partner. May kasama tayo ngayon upang encourage tayong lahat na magpatuloy sa ating mga ginagawa para sa bata at para sa bayan. Yes, Chris. Kaya wag na nating patagalin pa para sa pagtatapos ng ating programa. Andito, ngay- andito ngayon ang ating buting Chief of Staff under Secretary Philip Boyet D. Magandang umaga. Good morning everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for the online launching of the introduction to online teaching that the Office of the Vice President is offering in partnership with Akadisha. So una po pagbati muli, unang-una sa ating partners sa Akadisha, uh, Nilesh and Roy, it's good to see you again. I'm so happy to note that uh, our discussions have borne fruit already through the launching of the program. This morning, magandang umaga rin po sa ating mga kasamahan mula sa SDOs ng probinsya na Atlan, ng Himamaylan City at Lucena City bilang mga pilot areas ng ating introduction to online teaching program. Magandang umaga rin syempre sa ating mga, kas- sa ating mga kasamahan sa opisina ni Vice Pangulo Lenny Robredo at sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa atin sa Facebook Live. At uh, kabilang na ang ating mga kabayanihan na kasama natin sa Community Learning Hubs Program ng Office of the Vice President as well. Katulad po ng laging sinasabi ng ating mahal na Vice Pangulo Lenny Robredo, ang lahat po ng nagagawa namin sa opisina, nagagawa namin dahil ang susi ay pagbabayanihan. Everything that we do in the Office of the Vice President is powered by collaboration and working together. Yung Partnership po natin with Akad Asia, natutuwa po kami na, na ilo-launch natin siya formally ngayong umaga at mafo-formalize pa natin ito lalo through the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the office and Akad Asia. Nagsimula po ito noong nakaraang mga buwan pa dahil sa ating partnership din with Teams International. And we are fortunate and we are very happy na naipagpapatuloy po natin ito through a dedicated program once again to help our teachers prepare and to help our teachers be equipped for the challenges of online teaching. When Nilish was saying a while ago and sharing a while ago that the core of education is really the capacity and the abilities of our teachers, ito po talaga yung spirit behind what we are trying to do through this program. When the Vice President and our office found out to the announcement that there will be no face-to-face instruction until a vaccine is discovered or readily available, the vice president and our office became immediately concerned about how our office can help in ensuring that education gets to continue even in the midst of the challenges that the pandemic is bringing about. At naganap nga po ng iba't ibang paraan para makatulong yung aming opisina sa hamon na ito na ipagpatuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating mga kabataan kahit sa gitna ng pandemya. At nakita po namin na napakahalaga na magbigyan natin ng pagsasanay at magbigyan natin ng sapat na kaalaman ang ating mga guro para sila ay matulungan para sa pag-cope at pag-adapt dun sa mga challenges sa pagpapatuloy ng education even in the midst of the pandemia. Kaya po kami ay natutu- natutuwa na through this initiative and through this program, we have yet another offering that we can make available to our teachers who are serving as our frontliners as far as education services is concerned in the midst of the pandemic. Ito pong pinapa offer namin ngayon ay papilot lamang dun sa tatlong areas na aming binanggit, pero ito po ay gagawin namin available sa iba pang SDOs at sa iba pang guro na magiging interesadong maging bahagi ng programang ito. And please stay tuned through our uh, social media pages as well as what was shared earlier in terms of how you can get in touch so that you can also participate in this program. Again, akin pong karangalan na tapos na tapusin yung ating programa para sa umaga nito. We are looking forward to more and greater partnership with Akadisha. Simula pa lang po itong programang lilaunch namin this morning. And we look forward to being able to continue to be of service to our teachers uh, in the midst of the pandemic by offering programs that they would need and that they would require to be able to keep up with the challenges that we are facing in the midst of the pandemic. Again, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. 
and we look forward to the continuation of our partnership. Salamat po. Maraming salamat sa iyong Heart Cloud Words to Music D. Napaka-importante talaga ng bayanihan para sa pag-angat ng ating bayan, lalo na ngayon na madami tayong mga kabayanihan at kababayang nahihirapan dahil sa pandemya. Yes, Kuis John, napakaganda ng sinabi ni Yusek D. Lalo tuloy ako na-excite sa para ma sa mga maaaring matutunan ng ating mga education frontliners o ang ating mga pinakamamahal at mga mahuhusay na guro. Thank you to Akad Asia for partnering with us in this program. Thank you Mr. Nelish Bathia and Mr. Roy Platon. Thank you so much sirs. Thank you once again for the opportunity to collaborate. We're, we're really, really happy and uh, looking forward to it. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Lubos kami nagagalak na makasama si VO, Office of the VP. Thank you, Mr. Nilesh, and thank you, Sir Roy, and the whole of Akad Asia team. Maraming salamat din sa ating mga schools division office na patuloy na nakikilahok sa ating mga programa sa opisina Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Schools Division Office of Aklan, led by and represented a Senior Program Specialist, Ms. Leila Pamatian. And Thank from SDO Bumamaylan City, Superintendent Dr. Reynaldo Gico. Thank you, sir. We'd like to thank as well our teachers and our Chief Education Supervisor, Ms. Josephine Natividad from the Schools Division Office of Lucena City. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanood at sa lahat ng tumangkilik sa mga programa ng ating opisina. Thank you at magkikita-kita tayo muli. Laging tandaan ang sabi ni VP Lenny, kaya at kakayanin pagsama-sama tayo. Maraming salamat! Maraming salamat, kabayanihan! Hanggang sa muli! Oh, 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 oh.